weather. Always tracking first to alert. Hello everyone and happy Sunday to you. You know, it has been a gloomy day like Kate was talking about before and you look behind me, you can actually see the gray colors. That's where we are currently seeing clouds, orange. That is where we're seeing drier air and all this cloud cover and moisture moving into our area will actually allow us to have some rain chances leading overnight tonight into your day tomorrow as well. So I want to take you guys through our latest future track model. This is six o'clock this evening and you're seeing a little bit of rain actually popping up on our map. You could see it in the central portions of El Paso County all the way out into Mexico. But overall today we don't have the greatest chance of rain across our area. Overnight though, you'll start to notice more moisture moving into our area. By five o'clock tomorrow morning, we could be tracking a decent amount of rain all the way from Mexico into Husbeth and Culberson County. Now you're also seeing the blue colors, which blue typically represents snow. I'm not too confident that we will be seeing snow tomorrow, but I do think we will see some light rain showers tomorrow morning. By lunchtime tomorrow, it looks like those will have fallen apart and we'll have mostly cloudy skies, but maybe a small chance for a light rain shower throughout tomorrow evening through the 10 o'clock hour. We will have rain chances that last through the entire next week, bouncing around from 20 to 10%. Yesterday we were looking at only rain from Tuesday through Friday. As you can see, that has changed a little bit. Tonight we're going to bottom out at 36 in El Paso, 33 in Las Cruces, 32 in Alamogordo, 19 in Ruidoso, and 21 in Cloud Cross. So definitely a little bit chilly up there in the upper elevations for the rest of us. Doesn't look like many of us will be getting down to freezing, but then tomorrow afternoon, 51 will be the high in El Paso, Las Cruces as well. 50 in Deming, 45 in Silver City, and same thing in Sierra Blanca. You guys know one of my favorite graphics is the seven day highs comparing it to the average high. 57 is where we should be at this time of year. Tomorrow, going to be a little bit cool out there, 51 degrees, but warming all the way through Friday, topping out at 64 as of right now for your Friday. So certainly going to be warmer by then as well. The only breezy day of the week will be tomorrow before we have light winds throughout the entire next week as well. So overall, your next several days looks like this sponsored by the Mattress Room. Rain chances will stay in place all the way throughout this next week. We will be warming up though. We'll have cloudy conditions as well and Monday will be the only breezy day.